Hello, good morning students. Welcome to a class at Shivjyoti Educational Group Kota. Today, as we already know that we are going to start chapter number 1 of your fiction and that is the lament of class 11 CBSE English elective, right? So, be prepared, open your book and get ready. So, dear students, let us have a discussion of the topic the lament first, first chapter of your book woven words, got it? So, keep your book handy and let us start having discussion, detailed discussion of this chapter. Have a look, this chapter the lament, first of all let me elaborate the title the lament. What is the lament? Means a kind of remorse, yes I want to share my plight, my unhappy days, my dejections, mood of dejection I want to share with someone, but the problem is nobody is ready to listen to me, listen to my plight I am in. What kind of duel is going on in my mind? What kind of unhappy moments I am undergoing? So, this all I want to share with people, with my nears and dears, with my loved ones, but unfortunately nobody has time to listen to me. This is the theme of the chapter the lament and this is the meaning of the chapter lament and you know this chapter was written by the writer Anton Chekhov, right and he, he was born in Russia, he was born in Russia in 1810, right and most of his stories had a theme human plight, human complexities means whenever a person is about to share his feelings about his about to share his plight with his people around him, nobody has time. This is the common theme of almost all his stories. So, let us have a look what has been given in this chapter the lament, okay? Look and the main character in this chapter is Aona, right? Aona Patapao, he is the main character or protagonist, one and only character of this chapter. Hmm? Some words are there, some phrases are there, so let us have a look at them. Gingerbread horse, gingerbread a kind of dish, a kind of edible thing, right? Gingerbread a very thin like and uh, looking like wood, so gingerbread horse means fine quality horse slow snuffle as if he were on needles, right? So, let us have a look snuffle, slow a kind of negative word snuffle when uh, a horse is uh, breathing out as if he were means he, uh, it looked the horse was uncomfortable and it looked Iona Potapo was not in comfortable position. So, Indirectly, the writer is saying he was in uncomfortable position, right? So, it's twilight, a thick wet snow is slowly twirling around the newly lighted street lamps and lying in soft thin layers on roof, on horses backs, on people's shoulders and heads. So, this is the atmosphere of twilight. What is twilight? Twilight means dust hours means when the evening is there, evening hours are there and the sun is about to set or the sun has almost set. At the time golden orange light is found everywhere, the complexion of the sun is golden red orange, right? So, that is twilight. So, twilight means dust hours. At the time snow is falling in the form of powder and mist right and everything, everybody, every living and non living being is covered with snow, got it? Be it horse, horses back or human being shoulders or hats, everything is covered with snow. The cab driver, cab means taxi, 
the cab driver Ayana Potapo is quite white and looks like a phantom, phantom means ghost like figure. He is bent double as far as human body can bend double. He is seated in, he is seated on his box, he never makes a move, means everybody everything is still, nobody is making any kind of movement because it is snowing over there. So, Ena Putapau is also sitting, he is also couching in his cab, right? A kind of horse carriage that is cab, right? So, we can say if a whole snow drift fell on him, it seems as if he would not find it necessary to shake it off. It makes no difference to Ayana Potapau how much snowfall is there. So, he if we throw a big amount of snow on Ayana Potapau, he would be indifferent means he would not care a bit about that. His little horse is also quite white and remains motionless. Its immobility, its angularity and its straight wooden looking legs even close by give it the appearance of a gingerbread horse worth a copeck. Right? Here we learnt the word phantom. Phantom means ghost like figure. Right? So, I told you as Ayana Potapau is his horse is also exactly in the same position in the same mode means the horse is also still constant it is also not moving and it gives the appearance of a constant picture a picture of a horse having wooden legs right and the quality of this horse has been compared to gingerbread like gingerbread means a fine quality horse right and its worth is not much worth a kopeck. Kopeck is the name of a Russian currency. You know, main currency of Russia is ruble, and thereafter, sub currency is kopeck, as in India, rupee and pesa. Exactly in Russia, ruble is the main currency, and sub currency is kopeck, right? So, the writer is saying its worth is not much. It is no doubt plunged in deep thought. It seems that the horse is also lost somewhere in its thoughts. It is thinking something that is why the horse is lost somewhere in its thinking. Right dear students? So, he the, the writer says that Ayana Potapo and the horse they both are in the same position, same condition. If you were snatched from the plough from your usual grey surroundings and were thrown into this slough full of monstrous lights, unceasing noise and hurrying people, you too would find it difficult not to think. If you have been taken out of this plight you are in, the mood you are in, it would make no difference to you and anybody, right? Ayana, Ayana Potapau and his little horse have not moved from their place for a long while. It has been long, they have been in this position. They left their yard before dinner, right? Long back they had already left their place and since then they have been in the same position, right? Up to now, and unfortunately up to now not a fair, not a fair means passenger, right. The actual meaning of fair is whatever the amount we get from the passengers is known as fair, but in this chapter fair means any passenger, any customer, right. So, they have been waiting for any customer so that they may get some income. So, they have been waiting in the same position. The evening mist is descending over the town, the white lights of the lamps are replacing brighter rays and the hubbub of the street is getting louder. As the evening is growing bigger and bigger, busier and busier, it is the life of the people over there. People are busy moving here and there. Some people are going back home, some people are going out for some stroll like this everybody is busy and nobody has 
time to look here and there. Nobody has time to look at the plights of people they are in, right? So, as the evening is growing darker and darker, the hubbub means activities, busy activities are growing bigger and bigger, right? And uh, Potapo and the horse, they have been standing over there. Then, Cabby for Vibog, Vibog way, Cabby, certainly here's Ayana. Cabby means somebody calls out Ayana Potapo, calls out to Ayana Potapo, yes, Cabby, taxi, in this way, Cabby, I'm ready to go Vibog way, I'm going to go over there. Would you like to take us over there? And all of a sudden, Ayana became active because he heard someone calling him. So, Ayana jumps. He was in his thoughts, but as soon as he heard someone calling him out, he jumps. Means all of a sudden, he became active and came out of his cap, carriage, and though his snow covered eyelashes, sees an officer in a great coat with his hood over his head right so he what he sees he sees an officer over there an officer wanted to go somewhere so he wanted this carriage that's why he called out ayana potapo for this right vibog way the officer repeats the officer thought that uh, the cab driver might not have heard him that's why he repeats are you asleep? Hey, Vibhagwe, I'm just talking to you. Where are you? Are you sleeping? Are you free? If you are free, then uh, would you like to take me to Vibhagwe? In this way. Then, with a nod of assent, Ayana picks up the reins means indirectly Ayana gave his consent because he was already waiting for fair waiting for a passenger and when the passenger was there he agreed at once in consequence of which layers of snow slip off the horse's back and neck when there is movement so the layer of snow moved away right earlier it was on the back of the horse on Ayana Potapao's shoulders, on his head, but now the snow was moved away when a movement was there. The officer seats himself in the sleigh, sleigh means carriage, right? The cab driver smacks his lips to encourage his horse, stretches out his neck like a swan, sits up and more from habit than necessity, brandishes his whip. All these are actions. When the cab driver Ayana Putapo makes a movement and he makes the horse move forward, run, gallop, right? So, all these are activities. He became active. In short, we can say the little horse also stretches its neck, bends its wooden looking legs, and makes a move undecidedly. Means it has it had not decided. So, wherever its master wanted him to move, so the horse mo was moving. So, this is also the position of the horse. Means earlier the horse was standing still, but now the horse was also ready to move as per the instructions and directions, gestures of its master. What are you doing, werewolf? What are you doing, werewolf? Is the exclamation. Ayana, Potapo hears from the dark mass moving to and fro as soon as they have started. They had just started and all of a sudden they had so many people, so many things on their way. That's why, where the devil are you going? To the right. Excuse me, where are you going? Cab driver, the officer said, where are you going? Just move to right. You do not know how to drive, don't you know how to drive your carriage? Huh? Are you a newcomer? Keep to the right, calls the officer angrily. The officer grew a bit angry and instructs Ayana Potapo, the cab driver, to move to the right, keep to the right and 
drive the carriage carefully. A coachman from a private carriage swears at him. Swears at him means use, use that person uses abusive language or some objectionable language. A passers a passerby who has run across the road and rubbed his shoulder against the horse's nose looks at him furiously as he sweeps the snow from his sleeve. So the people were coming on their way. One of the persons had got a touch with the horse's nose. That's why he was also getting angry and looked at the cab driver furiously means angrily. Right? Erna shifts about on his seat as if he were on needles. He was not moving, he was not sitting constantly. In this way, he was just making a little movements frequently wherever he was sitting. Means where he was sitting, he was just making movements as if he was not feeling comfortable. Right? Erna shifts about his seat, moves his elbows as if he were trying to keep his equilibrium. He was trying, it seemed that he was trying to make a balance and gasp about like someone suffocating and he was breathing in this way he was breathing far as if he were feeling suffocation inside the carriage. So, he starts breathing heavily because he was feeling like getting suffocated right so who doesn't understand why and wherefore he is there he did not know for what purpose why what is the reason he is there what scoundrels they all are jokes the officer one would think they had all entered into an agreement to jostle you or fall under your horse. The officer sitting in the carriage was making a command. What's happening to all these people? It seems that they have already decided to come on your way and get hurt by your horse. They want to die at the hands of your horse or maybe it seems that's why they are coming on your way. The officer just made a comment in a joking way. So, this is, these lines carry the effect of humor, right? Eona looks around at the officer and moves his lips a kind of activity. He evidently clearly wants to say something, but the only sound that issues is a snuffle. He wants to say something to officer, but somehow he cannot because of chilled weather or maybe because of snowfall. So, he thinks something and he is not able to speak out clearly. Just snuffle means breathing in this way, breathing heavily. What? asked the officer. Erna twists his mouth into a smile with an effort, says hoarsely, means roughly. He says something and that is not clearly audible to the officer. That is why the officer is asking, what happened? Are you saying something? Actually, sir, I want to share something. What? Then cab driver Erna Potapau says, my son Baron died this week. Hmm, what did he die of? Means the cab driver says that his son died that week. So he is saying, actually, sir, my son died this week only. That's why I am upset. Okay. What happened to him? How did he die? What did he die of? He is asking about the reason of death, cause of death, right? Anna turns with his whole body towards his fair passenger and says, and who knows, they say high fever, he was three days in the hospital and then died. He says, nobody knows what wrong happened to him. Actually, he did not feel well, that's why we got him admitted to the hospital and he remained in the hospital for three days and the staff medical team, the doctors, nurses present over there, they are also not telling me anything clearly. So, I do not know exactly how he died. 
but I am not happy. I have lost my son, right? So he is saying, I do not know. For three days he remained in the hospital and died. God's will be done. Maybe it is the wish of God. That's why he died, right? Turn round. The devil sounds from the darkness. Have you popped off? And doggy, hey, use your eyes. Means once again, somebody is there on the way. That's why this language is used about Anna Potapau, the cab driver. Go on, go on, says the officer. Now the officer had also come to know that people were, it seemed that intentionally people were coming, things were coming on their way. That's why the officer says, don't look at anybody else, don't care for others and you just keep on keep on driving yes because i want to reach my destination while on time right otherwise we shall not get there by tomorrow hurry up a bit so the cab driver again stretches his neck sits up means he becomes alert and with a bad grace brandishes his whip several times again means he was just making his horse active making his horse move fast so in this way he was swaying his rein swaying his whip in the air right as if he was about to beat the horse with the whip actually he was not beating but he was swaying his whip in the air as if right Several times again he turns to look at his passenger but the latter war has closed his eyes and apparently clearly is not disposed to listen. Means Yana Potapo frequently looks back at the passenger in the carriage but what he finds every time he finds that the passenger seemed to have fallen asleep. So he was not paying attention to the cab driver right having deposited the officer in the vibog he is stopped by the tavern doubles himself up on his seat and again remains motionless while the snow once more begins to cover him and his horse means after some time they reach their destination vibog way and he dropped the passenger over there and at a tavern tavern means a kind of bar right so they stood over there and they kept standing over there only now he was stretching his limbs to get relaxed because earlier he was just couching on his seat because that was not much spacious so now he was stretching his limbs to get relaxed so was his horse also standing exactly to have a kind of rest Anna and other then along the footpath with a squeak of galoshes and quarrelling come three young men two of them tall and lanky the third one short and humpback they were just taking rest they were getting relaxed means they means cab driver and a potapo and his horse but all of a sudden they hear something especially the cab driver sees something hears some someone or some people they were three people right and they were just quarreling and they were wearing galoshes galoshes are the lo long boots or long shoes that people put on first they put on their regular shoes and they after these long boots they put on just to protect their feet from biting cold right so galoshes and they were quarreling on some matter some three young men were there two of them were tall and lanky they were tall two two were tall and thin lanky means thin the third one short the third one's height was not as tall as the other two he was short and humpback in this way he was banning and he had a hump on his back and he was a kind of fat person so in this way too thin and tall and the third one is short heighted and with humpback on his back and fat structure he was hey cabbie 
to the police bridge in a cracked voice caused the humpback means this third person who was short heighted person so he called out the cab driver a hey, cab taxi in this way i ready to take us to the police bridge this is the name of the destination as the earlier name of the destination was vibhag way the officer was calling out right now they want to go to the police bridge that's why they are asking the three of us for two gravenix gravenix means a kind of fare right so they are saying we are three but we are not ready to give you that much amount because that will be too much for us so yes young man yes old man whatever they were calling him yes cab driver i ready to take us over there but we will be giving you only for two because only this much we can afford and if you are ready then tell us